It is my honor this evening to provide the introduction for the 2018 Weldon B. Gibson Distinguished Volunteer Award. Named after the late Dr. Weldon B. Hoot Gibson, the founding chair of the WSU Foundation, this award represents the highest distinction bestowed upon a WSU volunteer and proudly celebrates Dr. Gibson's tremendous spirit of volunteerism and love for Washington State University. This prestigious recognition is given to those individuals who have demonstrated exemplary volunteer service on behalf of Washington State University and the WSU Foundation. The individual we honor tonight joins the ranks of fellow Cougar volunteers whose collective impact on this university is truly beyond measure. This year's recipient is well known to the Cougar family. Coming from three generations of WSU graduates, his boundless passion for his alma mater dates back decades. He's worked with five of WSU's esteemed presidents. As a student leader, he worked closely with Glenn Terrell, with whom he maintained a lifelong relationship. Sam Smith, Lane Rollins, Elson Floyd, and Kirk Schultz have all benefited from his generosity, his leadership, his enthusiasm, and his wise counsel as a member of the Foundation Trustees, Board of Governors, Board of Directors, and Chair of the WSU Foundation. It is challenging to describe the encompassing devotion to WSU of this year's recipient. He has served WSU in so many capacities, truly a textbook could be written about his influence on Washington State University. A few examples of his limitless contributions include educating people on the importance of supporting, supporting current legislative issues and candidates to advance higher education in our state, taking a leadership role in fundraising for the establishment of the Elson S. Floyd College of Medicine, increasing his, the visibility and stature of WSU statewide, garnering support from the Seattle community, and supporting ARCS fellowships, which helped to recruit the best and the brightest PhD scholars to WSU's top graduate programs. This unwavering guidance and support have helped to fuel WSU's world-class reputation. His sustained efforts on behalf of Washington State University and the WSU Foundation have had and will continue to have a significant impact for generations to come. Please direct your attention to the screens for the tribute to our 2018 Weldon B. Gibson Distinguished Volunteer. We hope this, is pre this presentation will convey the tremendous admiration, respect, and esteem with which tonight's honoree is regarded. I've known him for nearly 25 years and I continue to learn about the breadth of his skill and the depth of his character. He is wicked smart, so talented, so wise, yet he makes everyone feel like his equal. He and I have been friends since we were on the student body council together in the 70s. He hit the ground running there and has been effective and running hard ever since. He's had a fantastic career and has continued to be involved civically and politically, and philanthropically. Uh, and academically, and yeah, I look up to him. I, he, sets, he sets a great standard, something for the rest of us to aspire toward. You meet him, you know him, you like him, but few ever realize his involvement and success in business, in government, in sports, in helping the less fortunate, supporting education, science, research, because of his unpretentious and unassuming nature. He's someone who is a magnet uh, for people and uh, people enjoy his company, they enjoy his intellect. He has a very wry sense of humor, and it's contagious. He's a cougar from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet. Michael is a true cougar. Now, there's something that uh, many of you may not know, and then when I say true cougar, I mean true cougar, because his mother and father met as freshmen in Pullman and were married as seniors, basically from birth. He was a cougar. WSU has a legacy of attracting powerful, 
influential leaders that will advocate and support the university. He has not been a one and done performer. He has been broad based, he has focused, uh, but he has worked on everything for scholarships for students of color. He's worked for the Wine Enneology Program. He's helped run the capital campaign under Dr. Floyd. He continues to give, to commit, to lead, and he never seems to be finished with uh, identifying new opportunities to help make WSU a better institution. Michael always was there whenever we needed him, and he was one that we could always call on. But he helped build the foundation, he helped us on our big campaigns. He also has served on the advisory committee for two of our presidential searches because we trust his judgment. And we're just very, very fortunate to have him helping us. When I was doing the search for Dr. Floyd, Michael was in that trusted three floor person group that I leaned upon and trusted with respect to their opinion, their help and their guidance. Individuals receive this award because they have provided leadership and helped WSU through some tough times, also helped WSU get better, it's helped our students. What I am impressed with with respect to, to Michael and his contributions to Washington State University, his success as a businessman in the business community is his love for his family, his wife and his two boys. He and Lynn are a wonderful couple. They do a wonderful job with their kids. I'm not sure how many people are aware of his closeness and his love for his family, but in all the activities that he does for the wherewithal of the community and Washington State University, I'm just so impressed with how much he cares about his family, who is his number one concern and everything he does. We have very positive, exciting things planned for the university that will take us to the next level of what it means to be in the top 25% of universities in the United States. Michael has certainly contributed in very important ways, giving us government presence, teaching us how important it is that we need political support in order to achieve our goals helping us build colleges, helping us have presence in disciplines that's critical in the world today. What you water will thrive, correct? And I believe that people who spend time contributing their time, their talent, their treasure to WSU um, will lead to better changes. Um, it's a fantastic institution. Michael's leadership has been instrumental in that and it continues to get better. Um, it just gets better every day and every day is already good. I think he's really earned this award. I hope he walks away proud. I hope he walks away realizing how much we appreciate him. He will be quiet, he will be shy, but he will know that he has given a great gift in his life to the university that he loves so much. You truly epitomize what we expect and hope for and love to see in our graduates. Just thank you for all you're doing and thank you for the things you'll do in the future. And I know that Hoot and Glenn will be standing right there saying thank you, keep up the work. I cannot think of any of my contemporaries who are more deserving um, than Michael Thompson. And congratulations. Congratulations, Michael. This is so well deserved and this is my toast to you. There are tall ships and small ships. There are ships that sail the seas, but the best ships are friendships. So here's to you and me and all the cougar appreciation you see. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage your 2018 Weldon B. Gibson Distinguished Service Award recipient, Michael Thompson. Well, 
Well, I've learned something tonight. I can see you all as dogs. Um, I am a very lucky guy. For the last 27 years, I've been married to the love of my life, and she's here with me tonight. I've got two great sons who, even though they live far away now, um, still call up from time to time and pretend to listen to my advice. I've worked in an industry that didn't exist when I graduated from WSU for the last 35 years, and it's been a lot of fun. I've worked with friends, and it's been, it hasn't been work, it's been pleasure. And I've gotten to work with all of you for the institution that I truly love, WSU. And it's a great institution. Isn't this a great place? I mean, it was a good place in the teens, the first teens, when my grandfather came over here to go to high school because it was one of only two high schools in eastern Washington at the time. And he stayed on and he took some engineering classes and then went home one summer and met my grandmother and never came back. Um, but my, my father came out. My father came out from Oroville where my grandfather had, had, uh, had an apple orchard. And my mother came out the same year from Elma and they met as freshmen and got married as seniors. And um, my dad was ROTC at, at WSU, and he joined the Army to see the world and got stationed at Fort Lewis in Washington. <laughs> and so Mustard out there was a pharmacist for his entire career, and I grew up in Tacoma, and of course I came to WSU. And I graduated from WSU in 1979, the same year that the foundation started. So we are together 40 years with this institution. And over that time, the people in this room have raised over $2 billion for this institution. And that money has gone to such things as the Branch campuses that have, that have come along since the, uh, since the foundation started, they've gone to the medical school. They have been having a foundation with the vibrancy and the fundraising ability that we've got has been key to bringing great leaders to this campus, including uh, a number of presidents, uh, this one for one, who said during his, uh, when we were talking to him about coming out here, I'm here, I'm here in this room because you guys have got a great foundation. And I know that you've got the support that we need to make things better at WSU than they've ever been before. By honoring me, you are honoring yourselves. This is a great university, is a great foundation. Thank you so much for my honor tonight, but thank you for everything you do out there as well. And go Cougs!